everybody welcome back I am gonna show you my non minimalist kitchen tour and I'm just gonna show you the cooking half because my kitchen with the eat-in portion is pretty big and it's gonna take two videos so I might as well split it up like this I want to tell you guys first you guys know that I sometimes have limitations to my mobility so um, I call it a non minimalist because I mentioned this in other videos um, I just grew up in a house with a lot of stuff and to me the stuff makes it feel like a home not that people who have minimalist homes don't feel like home just don't feel like a home to me um, I know that there's a lot of studies on there about how um, clutter can clutter up your mind clutter up your life but I personally have the opposite feeling. I feel like when something is bare and um, it's missing, you know, it's missing things. So I feel that sense of loss from the hurricane comes surfaced again. So um, this is just, this is just me. Plus I like to keep things where I can get them easily um, without having to ask some others for help. So here it is. So I showed you everything on the tops over here. So let's go to the other side of the sink and show you what's in the tops over here. So above my knife block and cutting boards is this cabinet that has some um, cooking stuff and I'll show you what's in there in a second. But up at the top is the medium use. Everything high is stuff that I don't use as often because I'm short. Um, <laughs> the medium used um, Temptations. Then I have here is my Corel. Um, this is French white. This is ones I use a little bit more often when I'm casseroling. Um, these are two ovals and this is two round ones, but the other round one is in the freezer. Then down here I have cooking canola oil, plain breadcrumbs, like breadcrumbs, and um, cooking sprays, cornstarch, like the stuff that I, some special vinegars and stuff like that that I can use for cooking, but then I don't have to actually actually ask Jim to get for me. In the middle we have a middle cabinet. It's sort of like a middle quarter cabinet. It doesn't have a Lazy Susan in its shelves. And down here is my measuring cups and colanders that I use most often. Mixing bowls. And you guys have seen these. And then there's mom's mixing bowls. And in the back we do like see my sifter. I don't use my sifter that often. It's stuff that I can grab. These are two metal mule cups that I put my baking grease in until it starts to cool because you shouldn't pour hot baking grease into plastic and up there is just more glass bowls and stuff extra dishes because when I bought my set of dishes I still lived in New York and with my entire family there at any point we could have up to 23 people so I actually have a set of 24 of all my dishes my Corel but here, I just keep out nine plates, which is basically enough for three meals, but it's mostly just as what fits in the dishwasher. So if we have company, um, you know, we'll have them for two meals or whatever, so. And I showed you my cutting boards and stuff in there. Now down below the corner cabinet, there is a Lazy Susan. This is where we keep, ooh, sorry about that mess. Let me clean that mess up. Well, I'll do the video. <laughs> This is where mom keeps her silicone steamers. We keep all of our plasticware. Some from the Dollar Tree. These are from Tupperware. These hold the lid holders. I put them in the drawer. Um, and that's just organized grill and stuff. That's all that's down there. To the drawers just to the right are all of my spices. I know that a lot of you have seen and asked. Um, so what these are are four ounce mason jars with solid lids. When I was in Ohio, in Amish country, or by where Aunt Joyce lives, um, they have a store called Lehman's, and Lehman's sells solid lids for all the mason jar sizes. Actually, for all different jar sizes. Um, I made these labels, not made, these labels were from Walmart, and I wrote on them with um, the kind of uh, permanent marker because I knew that I would always have these spices. This one is a shaker jar because we very, I very rarely use that one but that has white pepper in it. That's why it's different. And these ones are plastic which when I bought 
when I was shopping, I was like, let me try, what do you think is better, plastic or metal? And um, Aunt Joyce said, well, try both because they don't have enough metal. <laughs> and these have regular lids, and these are my homemade taco seasoning, garlic powder, which I use more of, and homemade garlic salt. Underneath that is extra knives, specialty knives. I have a set like this that mom had sent me. These were my dad's. This is my carving knife, like just stuff extra. And then my KitchenAid tools. Here is my dough hook, my regular beater. The only one that I keep in the bowl is the, the beater like this with the silicone spatula. This is our, where we keep our mom's ki kitchen shears and um, can opener. And then under that is what we not would consider the junk drawer, but it's the battery drawer. So battery, emergency flashlights, matches, all that stuff goes down here. Okay. Under my kitchen sink is a mess because we bought a garbage disposal. And we haven't installed it yet. So everything from under the sink is in that terrible box over there. Full disclosure. I, don't, I share. <laughs> I've had this for years, but now they sell them at the Dollar Tree, and I think it's like the greatest invention. It's an over-the-door kitchen towel holder um, that I keep a towel here. Mom likes to dry her hands on this one. And I always keep this mat. This is a drying mat that Sharon gave me from Paula Dean from Walmart. And I keep this here so when we take stuff out of the dishwasher, sometimes there's water sitting on the top of like plastic lids and stuff, so we sit them here until they dry. And then... That's the towel I dry my hands with. So everybody in my family knows that you don't use this for stuff, you just use this for drying clean hands. So this is a kitchen island that I got from, um, I don't know, I think it was Country Living that I had in my house at 41 from the flood, but I cleaned it and brought it here. It has three drawers and a cabinet. This cabinet has my favorite types of I know it's hard to see, but I have this organized in two of the sink tubs with a locker organizer raising the top one. Where this drawer just has all those kitchen gadgets that you just need a home for that are like unusual and stuff. And all my cookie scoops and ice cream scoops and stuff like that goes here. On the right side is a trunk that no longer has any storage in it. I just use it to elevate my basket of kitchen towels. I got this metal basket at a thrift store. Actually, it wasn't a thrift store and it wasn't a yard sale. It was that white elephant sale at AHRC. And I filled it with all of my dish towels that I keep rolled. And even my dish towels are organized. Like the ones on the right here are the thin I use to line my bread baskets. The ones on the left are the ones that I use most frequently. And then the back is all the extras and stuff. And on the, behind them is where I keep some big serving, plastic serving trays. And on the right side, that is my cake decorating kit. Another wiry basket that I got at another thrift store or something with extra pot holders in it. And mom's French European bread thing that's just there for decoration. There is the pie board that I told you about. I got it on clearance at Walmart for mom. And that's a Dollar Tree basket with the dish rags in it. Okay. So, over here, this is the last run. <laughs> um, those are decorations going back up the attic, so forgive me. Here is my perpetual Thomas Kincaid calendar that I got at a thrift store in Ohio. So, this fruit basket doesn't have any fruit in it right now. But this is a chicken wire basket set that I had gotten from country living when I was in New York, not country living, country door when I was in New York. And I use one for fruit, one for cat food, and the other one I think is still hanging up. Over here, these are the baskets that I got from Michael's, if you watch that Michael's haul. This one is got the little cups from, Tar from Target Dollar Spot, the black ones. And they hold like normally plastic cups, which I don't have any, and all the plastic spoons, the big one holds an extra plastic platter, like barbecue stuff. And then we usually keep our extra paper plates in here that we use. These are the fake pick plates I got from Target. 
And they look really cute there. And then this is a candle warmer that I only put on when company comes. Um, here is our vacuum sealer for the bags I told you can't get anymore. My four slice toaster, that was my dad's. Oh, let me get out of light. My bread box. Mom keeps her bread on top, as well as her, this was her mother's uh, cinnamon sugar. I keep my bread in inside. I feel my bread lasts so much longer in a bread box. I don't know why. My paper towel holder. Extra napkins for when you're making a sandwich at the counter and you need napkins. Dollar Tree bottles. These are the cup cozies that I took the black and red um, buffalo check off of. I used to keep my Lysol touch and go behind there, but I don't have it anymore because they stopped making it. Here's my coffee cup tree and my coffee bar. Oops. This is just my coffee bar set up for spring. It's still cold enough to have hot chocolate, so this is all hot chocolate mix in spring um, jars with marshmallows and sugar-free hot chocolate. Um, here is a tea bag holder with just regular tea in it. This is Mom and Jim's um, Sugar Splenda blend that they like. But here is Splenda, uh, sugar, and tea. Mom make, likes to mix a tea blend that she keeps in here. Uh, she likes to mix a regular orange pico with um, mint. This is cocoa powder and cinnamon. These are little collector teaspoons that I got. This is the spring mixing straws. This is a mason jar with a, the ring and no lid. Um, here is a vase that I got at Goodwill in New York and it has all extra K-cups in there for company and then I have to search for K-cups. <laughs> Back here, I know this is where I become like a hoarder. I know some people like become a hoarder. When I go to hotels and they have all these little things and I take them, um, if I used like just the stirrer, I'll keep the other stuff in the packet and I just keep them back here for if ever anybody wants to eat low or something. I don't know. Oh, K cup down. We have a K cup down. Hold on. Okay. Here's my K cups that I use every day. These are the refillable kind. Here's just a little. Praise and worship. That signs from the Dollar Tree. My Keurig. And above my Keurig is my cup of love from the Dollar Tree art. This cabinet has the extra tea, coffee cups, and coffee bar stuff. I got these canisters look like this, and then I made some personalized matching labels. Oh, this one's not. This is the best. <laughs> I made some personalized matching labels. Um, Mom's big soup cups, extra jars with extra things, and extra teas. I really enjoy tea. I don't think I've ever talked about it much, but Joyce and I used to go to tea shops all the time, and it was fun. Um, this is where I keep our drinking glasses, extra coffee mugs on Dollar Tree things, and extra, those are tea saucers and extra coffee mugs for the coffee tree. And yes, I've had at times to use them, so... Sometimes I have a lot of people over. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> um, this is where we keep the temptations that I use most often for baking. Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting. Under this big cabinet is just drawers. There's two large and one little on each section is three sections. So we'll start over here on the right. I made this divider out of um, wood that I got to do um, to in case mom's door um, to basically to make a door jam and this is where I keep like pizza cutter this is the good steel I was telling you it was my dad's like long things and then all of the mom's metal tongs and her um, measuring stuff and other cooking stuff that's just like like my mashed potato make you know like my potato mash when do you use a potato masher you know once a year twice a year four times a year um, this is where I keep all my frying pans. These are the large ones. I have the square, the wok, the big one that I use for most big meals, and then the small 365 from Ikea. And then the little ones where I make my eggs in every day and my griddles are down underneath both. Um, a grills, excuse me. And then here is my steamer. My steamer is the only pot that doesn't fit in the pot drawer. The pot drawer has the two big pots we use every day and the three little, not every day, but when we cook, 
and the three little pots where I do like my eggs and a little sauce. And then here is the pot lid from, I mean the lid holder from the Dollar Tree that has the pot lids in it. And the big one doesn't fit, but it lays down perfectly like this. The middle drawer is mom's. That's where mom keeps all of her stuff that she can easily access, that she likes. This is where I keep my crock pot and my blender, my microwave steamer, and the blender accessories and funnels, just stuff like that. Oop, I moved my funnels and now they don't fit. Sorry. They really belong there. So. And then down here, our toaster oven, waffle maker, that's to make mini pies, uh, hand blenders, and the hand stick, stick blender is in there as well. Over here we keep all of our wraps, food wraps, plastic bags, foil, wax paper, and stuff. And over here is where I keep my giant mixing bowls, silk hats. These are, it looks like everything has fallen over. <laughs> noisy. So these are all my dad's metal mixing bowls that you need when you're making large amounts of stuff. Um, coffee pot, teapot for when company's coming. A plastic bag that I found from the top. Silk hat mats and rolling pins. Sorry, my silk hat mats look like they've just unrolled themselves. And stuff like that. And down finally is I keep my electric griddle, my George Foreman grill, um, mini can like extra mini cake, but muffin tins or whatever. Um, my gravy warmer, my box grater. This is an electric knife set. This is my mandolin. That's my cranky husband getting up. Good morning. Good morning. So, next to the dishwasher is the pantry the pantry is again stuff that i can reach my pancake mix i can reach in the front my splenda all that stuff that i can reach this is the canisters of the flour and the sugar these are all lock and locks mom had um this is from pampered chef that's the sprinkle powdered sugar down here is my pasta shelf these are all pastas and noodles there's like these baskets from the dollar tree that have all of the Package stuff. I don't know why there's mashed potatoes in here, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and there is something in my ramen that doesn't belong there as well. That's what happens when people put groceries away for you, you know? But on here, this is a sticker from Dollar General at back to school time. And I took it and I used a combination of permanent marker and washable marker and chalk to organize everything that's in my pantry and stuff that we need that we cannot see and reach so there's um the top shelf is baking flour cake mixes sugar brownie muffin mix miscellaneous the bottom is pasta um which is the shelf we're talking about here by the way <laughs> um is my pastas and my my amounts of pastas which i could tell you has not been updated last time somebody put all this stuff away and the middle shelf is where I keep the canisters of stuff and how much of there is in there. I don't have that for the bottom shelf because I can reach. <laughs> but top shelf has got, um, see, this is so unorganized. I should have really like had checked it before I did this. But this is all the rices, rice sides. This is supposed to be quick snacks, but there's rice in there. This is supposed to be Chef Wardy's soup. Soup. The reason that I'm switching pantries is because this pantry is really deep. So I have to pull out something to search back there. And you can see that's very difficult. And then there's all my canisters of cereal, which you see I'm trying to reduce how much cereal I eat. So in the back there is all the extras. And Jimmy mostly has to get most of that for me back there. Yeah. Next to that's my refrigerator. And above the refrigerator. This is just my dollar store. I'm um, not dollar store. Yeah, right, as if. This is my Tupperware <laughs> divider dish. Um, this is the Lazy Susan from Tupperware from ages and ages and ages ago. And here is my two 
egg timers, but they're mostly decorative at this point. Up here is pots. These are from my dad. These are bigger pots for when I do soup and stuff, and those are bigger cake pans for like sheet cakes and bunt cakes and cheesecake and stuff like that. So the finally next to the, oven, the refrigerator on this side is where I keep the snack basket or basket shells. I got this at Jenny's or Country Living or something. And they came with these baskets, but I glued on these labels from Walmart and I used washable marker. And I have like Jim's snacks, Jerry's like bars, croutons, salad fixings, onions, and potatoes. Oh, we need potatoes. <sighs> and then up here is miscellaneous stuff, mom's crackers, and a little snack basket. And down there, that's where the cat feeds when she comes out. So that's it for this half of the cooking area of the kitchen tour. Um, I originally said I was going to do two halves of the cooking and then, but I actually enable, I'm labeling them one of three with the entire kitchen. And as you're looking at all the decor up there, I think I'm going to add that when I do the other half. There's not very much organized on that other half um, to show you. Most of it is decor, so I figured I'd add a little bit of more of that decor up there and all my little hidden birds and stuff. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody knows interested in taking a look at all that I got. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell. YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you next time.